Good afternoon, everyone. This week in your tutor time, you've been exploring the word learning. Now, for some of us, we might think that learning only happens in a classroom and in the lessons that you've been in this week, and that is absolutely learning. But there are other ways to learn as well. For me, I learn through my faith, through listening to the words of the Bible and thinking about Jesus's actions. And as we go into our act of worship this afternoon and we explore what the word learning means to some of you, let's begin by dimming or turning off your lights, lighting the candles on your focus tables and inviting Jesus's presence into our spaces as we make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For me and many others, learning is something that we do every day, sometimes without even realising. This can be through learning a new skill, a new language or a new word. We learn things every day in school, whether that be inside the classroom, out on the playground, in the sports hall or in the mugger. And although we attend school five days a week, there are always opportunities for us to become better learners. We can do this by asking questions if we don't understand something, staying organised, staying attentive, avoiding distraction, and not being afraid to receive criticism and ways to improve. This week's word of the week is learning, so we should take this opportunity to put them into practice. Learning is incredibly important to me since COVID, as we were put so far behind. By learning new things every day, my mind stays active and fresh. We are constantly learning new things about school, people and the world in general. We learn by talking to others or listening to what teachers and fellow pupils have to say. Learning to me is being able to experience or process information and being able to enjoy it. We can all become better learners by accepting criticism and thinking of ways to improve. Everyone learns in different ways, we can all find a way of learning that works for us. How I learn is different to how others may learn. We can all help each other to learn by respecting each other's education and trying to help others learn with us. In the book of Psalms, there's a small piece that says, Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Now this verse from the Psalms teaches us that, like David, who we think wrote them, we've got to be open towards learning. What's the purpose of learning if our hearts aren't open to it? And having a desire to learn helps us to understand things from a new perspective. So think about what we've said today. Think about learning, think about what it means to you. And we're going to ask you to pause this act of worship now and work with your tutors on maybe some prayers together or a prayer activity that leads you to look a little bit deeper into where you learn. You know, there's a really famous phrase that says, every day is a school day. It doesn't mean your learning has to take place in school, but it means that there is an opportunity for learning everywhere. So pause us now and take some time to think about where you've done your learning today. Is it just in the classroom or is it in a wider environment? And as we end our act of worship together today, just take a moment to think about your learning. Have you done the best learning you can today, both in the classroom and outside the school environment? Have you allowed others to learn? Who's been your greatest teacher today? And can you share what you've learned with others? in your words and in your actions. And I ask you just to close your eyes or bow your heads and listen to the words of this prayer. God of refuge, 
please increase my knowledge as I work towards bettering myself. Bless me with wisdom, intelligence, and the ability to learn quickly. If I am unable to understand a skill within a certain subject, please encourage me to study and work until I master it. Motivate me to help myself and to develop helpful habits that will contribute to my learning ability. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And I ask you to join me as we make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So as you go out into your last lesson today, think about your learning. Why are you doing it? Have you got your heart open to learning? And are you allowing and enabling others to learn to the best of their ability? Have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.